went to a heater today. Really loved it. Really good heater, in my opinion. She said a bunch of things. And one of the things, some things that I needed that I was lacking or low in, so to speak, not nutritionally, but just energetically. She said I need grounding. And she said um, I need to protect. I'm, I'm, very, I'm sent, very sensitive and tuned in, which is good. Uh, but also that... Um, it's going to be bad if you're absorbing too much of the crazy energies on Earth at the moment. So she said, I'm, I'm, I need to be much more grounded. Um, uh, I'm unfocused as a result. I have like really cool things going on up here, but I need to just ground it a bit. I said also that I'm sensitive. I need my aura to be strengthened. From any like cracks or weaknesses related to past trauma or just whatever the case may be. So she offered metaphysical energy drops or tincture in the glass bottle that she got given by her guides had to, had to make and um, along with well mix should I say probably mix or not alchemized but mother nature probably made the ingredients but she said also that my, what I really liked that she said to me was that um, I'm a warrior but I'm not fully in my power right now because I need to ground myself and strengthen, and strengthen my aura with her drops called um, Support and I think not guardian is it defender? Yeah, that's it. She said I'm a protect. I'm not. I'm a warrior, strong warrior spirit, a strong, strong warrior. And I know that already. I'm a leader. I'm a life number one, which are prime leaders, new way showers, and old way enders, so to speak. But also that I'm a protector, and I know that already. Very strong protector spirit and strength within me. But I've been low in energy. Oops, uh, diddly. I've been low in energy the last three weeks, you know. And it's probably partially got to do absorbing the energies of the earth in such turmoil. And I don't, it's not, I want things to dance off me or not to absorb everything when I go into places, for example. So she, she said also that my, like, my root chakra was closed, which usually isn't that much. And even my heart and my throat in that moment were pretty closed. But she said I'm very sensitive to EMFs too. Um, EMFs will help stop the ener energetic signal, the signaling and the communication between cells. And the cabal know that it interferes with our chakras and our energy system. Alright, with that, let me just fix this. What's going on here? That's better. And that's why the cabal know and are happy to subject us to EMFs, Wi-Fi, and to promote us to having addictive devices and phones and screens, etc. Especially handheld devices, not so much televisions, but including just general overall electromagnetic um, pollution, like the EMF pollution. Um, so she says, like, I'm not at my full power yet, but I will be, and when I am, not only will I feel it, but people will recognize and see it and feel it also. They, they already do to the extent that where I'm at now. No one messes with me, generally speaking. People just know I'm not someone to be messed with. No one bothers me for not wearing a flask around my face into the shop. Because I'm not going to wear a flask. Fucking flask. Fuck flasks. No one's going to domineer or dominate me. I'm a light warrior and a truth warrior. Peace here, peace warrior, warrior of love and light, peace and freedom for all. I'm, I'm, I'm largely, I'm more often than not in a decent connection with my true self, my higher self, in alignment. And the healer was talking about being in alignment today. I'm not fully in alignment because I'm not fully grounded. <laughs> but she did say that my crown chakra and my third eye were very open, which is great. Because my, my crown chakra has always been the one that's been the most open. That's my connection to source, spirit, to all that is, my higher self. But usually my heart chakra is very open. That's usually the two that in throughout the last 14 years that tend to be the most open are my crown and my heart. But I was very surprised, but somewhat rather surprised that my heart uh, wasn't open. But pretty, pretty close, you know. And she said because of the EMFs, you can close your root chakra. So my sexual energy, my sexual desire, my sexual energy, and my focus to manifest have all been really low in the last three weeks, approximately. 
that's interesting, you know, because you have to monitor yourself. And I, I share this with you so you can evaluate yourself and think about you and how you're feeling and where you're at and where you'd like to be and what's going on within you. And then maybe you can um, possibly see a healer yourself, you know. So I'm living in Ireland. I'm going to be in a different country. Just you know, see who resonates with you.
guardian of, of nature but of, of animals and children and our elderly and our brothers and sisters and our parents our comrades our friends uh, I'm, a, I'm a lover uh, as an unconditionally loving and a care a loving caring being like we all are at heart but it's about being aligned with our higher self our source possibly my heart check is usually pretty open and big and so is my crown it's about caring I love caring I love the feeling of feeling connected you know that's why I've been eating a vegan diet for so long and I just sometimes I just don't get like why people don't eat a vegan diet it's not lacking anything the cabal and the mainstream news are just absolute dark liars they don't care for you one iota they just want to use us up kill us and use you opposite of me like I can't trust them they're just telling lies constantly they know if you keep telling them the same lie over and over people tend to doubt or fully believe it I don't know like the whole eating meat animals and their their discharges their ovulation eggs their their breast milk that's being robbed from their children it's just disgusting like I just don't get that aye, aye, aye. we don't need all those nutrients I know it's marketed as all brilliant but you can easily get like tons of nutrients from just cleaning your body and eating plant-based. You really can. Like people have like done this and, eat, and they've just living off fruits for like three decades. And I was born. Then there's like other people who just like amazing health, but just eating just fruits or a very minimal amount of greens too, or even plenty of greens. There's many different levels to this. But then anyway, I won't get into that. Saying, like, don't be tricked by the media, please. In, in any aspect, they hate you, they don't give a fuck about you. I care for you deeply from my heart. So, loads of people, there's loads of light workers here on earth. And uh, the global situation is only an invitation. Do we want to accept their proposals, their fantasies, their ideas of all the dark stuff, or reject it? And I'm totally rejecting it. That's not the reality or the thing I'm going to live in. I always go in breathing the fresh air. No one says anything. And they ever did in the past, it's bare minimum. They asked me, I say I have an exception. And if anyone was the same thing now, I'd say like, well, I won't say what I'll say, but I know my rights and I know the law. We need to empower myself, my friend, ourselves, my friends. My soul, brothers and sisters. So yeah, I'll protect my family, my, my, my loved ones, my neighbors, my society, my country, my, my earth. Everybody, one love, one family. To be a light worker, we got to be a shadow worker, and that's to like clean all our clean up our reactions and our non heart centered responses. Where we're fighting with people, judging people, putting people down, blaming others, name calling, making personal remarks and personal attacks. That's all like dirt. That's all like shadow. It's like the, the sky, the sun is our light, that's who we are. But if there's big clouds, the sun doesn't get, the, the sun doesn't reach the earth or the land. We're in the, we're in the shadow of the cloud. Our higher self, our, the light that we are, all of our traumas and our programming get in the way, that's the cloud. And to be a light worker, to be the light, to be, to be aligned with the light, we need, to, we need to face our shadows and remove the shadows feel our feelings and do some self-study to do some self-reflection self-analysis self self-knowledge self self-understanding we need to understand ourselves like what's going on why am I thinking feeling and acting this way remove the blocks and the love will flow so everybody love you loads appreciate you watching love you all from the bottom of my heart even people who say terrible things to me you know what? Uh, and not many people do, to be honest. Almost nobody. But I did once recently. And another person was saying some pretty personal things too. A little bit personal. Not as bad as one person who was like very, very much like out of sorts, out of, out of line, so to speak. My motto is love, compassion, and forgiveness. But I'm not going to be walked over either. I'm not going to take too much shit by them. Too much kind of. But the line is when, when does it affect me? When am I upset? And that usually when we're not in our hearts, we love, compassion, and forgiveness, we get upset. And the more we align to our true self, 
love, compassion, and forgiveness in our heart. Even if someone says personal things, we just feel compassion, like softness or tenderness towards them. Like, I'm sorry, they're like so out of sorts, very unaligned to their truth of who they really are, which I love and care for and I respect. And I, I, I care for their temporary and unalignment self too, who's saying rubbish basically. But it's not rubbish to them, they're very hurt and they're just expressing it, you know. What people say and do is a reflection of them, it's not a reflection of us. It's ref it's te they're telling a story about themselves. And if someone says stuff to you, they're telling a story, they're saying, this is where I'm at the moment, emotionally, my chakras, my energy, my body. And I'm just telling you a story. They're basically saying I'm feeling sad, sick, and unwell. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. That's not nice to experience, but it's a good learning lesson, hopefully. And how we respond or react or fight or judge or criticize or blame or be the martyr or the victim, like that, that all show, tells a story to the world and to ourselves, like where we're at, energetically speaking. And now I like being a warrior. I've known I've been a warrior for a long time. Not that I want to like fight.